Hello guys, it's Shrimp Time here and today we got another interesting video. Today I had to start a new BOA pack. So I've selected some BOA shrimps and if you want to, to know the reasons I've picked up those shrimps and not others, uh, please stay tuned in this video. So, as you can see, I'm uh, experimenting a lot with boas. I'm making more and more uh, boa tanks and trying to breed the best boas I can. And in each of my tank, I uh, take different criteria of uh, picking up the males, the females uh, of boas. There are some different important uh, factors that I consider keeping those shrimps but before before i will talk about those factors let's look at the simple tank this is the easiest tank setup you can do this is only UJ3 filter filter run with uh, air and very thin layer of soil mix if you would like to hear more about uh, soil mixes uh, let me know the the tank is started in my usual way. I use uh, Lubao for the stand start bacterias uh, and some powder bacterias like Benibachi B Max, like uh, SL Aqua Magic Powder, or EBF dust uh, from my own brand. As you can see, the Lubao is turned down in this video. And this is not a bad thing for me because uh, it shows the effect of the Lubao. It is so good for the shrimps that they can eat out all the bacteria powder in the in the bag that, that I do uh, for to, to eat. So I know that it really, really works. So uh, one last thing. I know you are waiting uh, uh, for a Blue Bolts film because uh, you voted for that and the next video will be about the blue bots. And now what we are aiming in this pack. There are few important factors that I considered picking out uh, those boas for breeding. The first one is the really thick back, the re really thick back pattern. And as you can see, the shrimps got extremely good pattern on the back, a thick back uh, that don't have any, any spots of black pigmentation. The pigmentation of the, of the tail and of the head is very, very thick. Another thing I was looking for, and I'm always aiming for, for the, that factor for, for that trait is those spider legs fully covered spider legs with really really nice definition as and as you can see uh, those boas got very nice spider legs for me we cannot talk about uh, nicely uh, colorated boas if we don't have nice legs another very interesting factor and important for me are those spots or stripes that we can see under the tail and some of the shrimps got those spots well developed as the one on the left some of them unfortunately lack of the spots or have the connection of the top of the of the tail with the bottom this a bit similar to Vin shrimp lifing uh, red fancy pattern and this pattern is quite interesting for me as well and i know thus that this pack of shrimps will produce me some uh, interesting starts for another selection and i i think that i will cover uh, this selection in next videos another traits that i took under the consideration but weren't the most important traits is the possibility to prod produce a uh, metallic uh, pigmentation and uh, due to the fact that shrimps are under strong light uh, during making this video 
you won't be able to see all of this metallic pigmentation but there is a metal genetics in those shrimps and if i would use another light that isn't so strong you would see that metal i also aimed for big uh, head dots uh, but they weren't the most important factor for me so as you can see my pack isn't so big it's about eight or ten shrimps and believe me if you got a very good genetics a very nice great shrimps this will be enough to produce a good offspring a good shrimps to work with I think that on, on this setup I I should get some some shrimps uh, that I would will be able to select. This tank won't last for that long, maybe half a year, uh, because uh, I'm bringing my uh, shrimp breeding facility to another place where where I can make put more tanks and uh, dedicate all of my work uh, into the shrimps. So here you got some more examples of, of those shrimps and this connection of the uh, top of the tail with the bottom uh, of the tail. You can also see shrimps festing on the Lubao back uh, and that those shrimps love this type of food. But the Lubao isn't the, the topic of today's video. Uh, I'm trying to make some close-ups for you that you will be able to see uh, the pattern, the pigmentation, the fact that those shrimps got the ability and got this blue pigmentation as well. Some of them even shows the orange or you can say the goldish pigmentation i know that from this genetics and this type of shrimps there are also a possible a possibility to get some purple shrimps but you need to remember that the way that shrimp will show its pigmentation will always depend on the light not only uh, on the strength of the light but also of the color of the light uh, you need to remember that if you got very strong light and unfortunately uh, when I'm making those videos I will always need a good strong light because uh, it is necessary to to deliver you this high quality close-ups and sharp uh, image. The coloration of these types of shrimps wo will not be so good because uh, the camouflage abilities of the shrimps will help them to cover this coloration to hide this coloration that that they've got you can see this by putting by watching your shrimps before you put the light on if you put the light on uh, and shrimp the shrimps will be more and better colored than after a day during the light session if you, if you guys would like to get some more information about keeping shrimps and about keeping boas, uh, here I will put in the right uh, up corner a link to a video about grading boas. I think there's a lot of good information uh, taken from Bente and taken from the skyfish and that is showing the original skyfish boa and the way that they are graded and the factors that are more most important with grading those shrimps so i hope that you will find those informations useful and you will get a lot of knowledge from this thank you guys and keep on shrimping and please remember to subscribe and put the thumb up